If you're an audio engineer at a top-tier venue like this, you know all too well that with high-end performances and talent, there is zero tolerance for failure. In the video explaining Axiant's interference detection and avoidance capability, we talked about how interference, artifacts, and dropouts can ruin an important performance. Because group performances can't be interfered with, we took interference avoidance even further by introducing frequency diversity to the Axiant lineup. What Nick is so helpfully demonstrating is just how quick your audio signal can go from great to gone, in this case, when he sets a second transmitter to my frequency. As I was saying, because great performances can't be interfered with, Shure took interference avoidance even further by introducing frequency diversity to the Axiant lineup. Frequency diversity, unparalleled in the industry, offers seamless, uninterrupted audio in the face of direct RF interference. Nick? Frequency diversity works by using the same audio transmitted on two independent radio frequencies. When operated in frequency diversity mode, the Axiant receiver continuously analyzes and uses the best combination of the two signals. If one frequency is interfered with, the audio from the other frequency is automatically used. Because both frequencies were transmitting to begin with, there is zero interruption caused by the presence of RF interference. The digital signal processing inside the receiver delivers the same uninterrupted audio to all of its outputs. I've dedicated two frequencies in both sides of this receiver to a mission critical audio channel. And what I get in return is the best possible protection against interference. Let's just try this again in slow motion. I'm here once again, this time with an Axiant handheld microphone. And Nick is preparing to introduce RF interference. When he turns on a transmitter that's on the same frequency as mine, Axiant will detect interference and use audio from the clean frequency. Then the bad frequency is replaced with a clean backup. Here I go. When I turn this body pack on, it will be transmitting on the same frequency as one of Jen's. Jen, can you say something to help demonstrate? Right now, my microphone is transmitting full bandwidth audio on two independently tunable frequencies. Because of that, you won't be hearing any audible effects from the direct interference Nick is introducing. As Jen said, her microphone is transmitting on two independent frequencies. While we don't hear a disruption thanks to frequency diversity, I can resolve the interference by switching to a clean frequency provided by the Spectrum Manager using interference avoidance. And there it is, interference resolved. These two features can be used independently or in combination as we just saw. Even without a frequency change, with frequency diversity, our unexpected transmitter caused no interruption to an essential part of the show. Interference avoidance allowed us to resolve the problem and we're back to operating on two clear frequencies. You've just seen the power of frequency diversity and how it uses two frequencies to ensure seamless audio. Used in combination with the Spectrum Manager and Showlink, you also have the flexibility to resolve a problem with either frequency. These are key features that help Axiant set a new level of confidence in wireless audio for mission-critical applications.